Morning, sweetie. Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to another exciting episode of the new home build series. I believe we are into episode number three here today, episode number three. And episode number three is talking about an exciting way of doing form work uh, that is just now becoming familiar over here inside the Philippines. If you are planning on doing a new build over here inside the Philippines, you need to seriously consider some of the technology that's being used in today's episode. And you'll see why later on in some upcoming episodes the results of using this type of technique. Well, I don't want to give away too much this morning. Uh, you see, uh, we're here in the backyard of Villa Feliz. Uh, you see <laughs> Mary Ann is her little house underneath the, the where we're going to have a little mini bar over here, which is going to be something I'll be working on today in another series that we're doing, another playlist called the Pavilion Project. So if you're following that, uh, you'll see some exciting stuff in an upcoming episode on the Pavilion Project too. Today is Granite Day over here on my side of the yard. On the other side, over in the new home build, over in our Canadian neighbor's yard, we have some exciting stuff as well, as always. So let's go ahead and get today's video started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. <laughs> Well, the truck has a ride for the big pour on Gerard and V's lot over here. I think it's going to take, once the big truck comes, this is just the transport method to get it from wherever they're going to back up inside here way down to the backyard. And then we have two, I believe, two truckloads that are going to be coming through. The two truckloads are going to be for the, the big pour for the footing support on the back of the lot. I want you to see the tremendous amount of rebar, what they call biga here in the Philippines, that they're gonna be using for this footer support and for the retaining wall and for the columns and everything that's gonna provide all the support on the back of this lot because of this, the steep slope that they have back here. They wanna make sure that they never have any issues uh, in the event that there's seismic activity or anything that has to do with mud or rain but they've done an excellent job down here. Uh, so we're just waiting on the, the truck to come in, the ready mix truck to come in on top of the hill over there to provide the, the cement mix that's gonna be going inside all of this formwork. All right, well, they're here. The pour is about to start. Let's catch some time-lapse video of this pour so we can compress it down in a short amount of time.
Hey. Awesome job, man. It looks really good. Thank you, sir. You might be wondering to yourself, why does all these pieces of plywood, why do these plywoods have all these holes like you see right here inside them? We're going to go down to the bottom of the hill back here on the back of Gerard and V's lot and I'll show you what's going on with all these pieces of formwork. Well, you know, we visited the site back here a couple of days ago when they did the big port. Remember the big port down here? All that cement is hardened and it's actually a special type of a cement that they use down here that has a hardening compound that's built into it that's delivered with the ready mix truck. So it's all ready to go and they can continue doing the project without having to wait any extended period of time. Because as we know, concrete takes up to 28 days usually to do full curing. So now you see all of these little pieces of looks like threaded rod sticking out of the wall. The threaded rod is what goes through those holes inside the formwork that you see at the top of the hill up there. And we'll get down, um, try to crawl down here. I'm not really in the appropriate attire to get down here, but I'm going to go down here and uh, if these guys can do it, I can do it. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the formwork well, here's down Here's the crew. Here. This, it's actually the end of the break and they're getting back to work. Uh, they, I mean, they're like to the minute. They don't, they don't take advantage of extended lunch breaks around here with this team. Anyway, what you're looking here, let's look at the wall. And this is something called the uh, uh, the form tie system right here. Uh, when they say form ties, these, the, all, this, all of the support back here is being done instead of using concrete hollow block, which is the traditional method that's done here in the Philippines. This is a stronger method and something that's becoming more available inside the Philippines as well. But if you need something that needs to be very strong, the, the form tie system is the way to go. <laughs> and when we say form tie, what we're talking about, we have form and all the forms are tied together by this threaded rod and these clips right here. And the, the method that this contractor is using is something a little different from what I'm familiar with in the US, but you can see inside here, the spacers that are being used in between is regular PVC. So this looks like three quarter inch PVC inside here. And there's a washer, like a plastic washer that goes on both sides. And you use this to give the exact spacing. So all of this wall will end up being exactly the same thickness all the way. And they will use a ready mix truck again with something like 3500 PSI uh, concrete with the same hardening additive that they'll use here and they will pour this right here they'll pour this and it will be all one continuous monolithic pour all the way from the side it goes to the side all along the back to the side again over there and that's what they're working at right now is they're getting the rest of the formwork installed now something you probably notice this is not three quarter inch pvc right here this is oh i'm gonna say it looks like about three inch it looks like a three inch pipe right here and the three inch pipe is going to be used to allow water not to set up on the property right here. If the water goes down, it acts like a drain. If it, the water table actually moves up, what it will do, it will allow the water to go down to where the existing wall is here. This is the perimeter wall for the subdivision. And it will go down over to the back, which is a creek on the other side of this. So there will be no, there will be no holdup uh, of water inside here. This won't have any issues with flooding or anything on the back of the property. And that's what Romeo is doing all around. And that's e e actually something that we used on our build at Villa Feliz, but not exactly this technique because we don't have a creek behind us. What we used underneath our pad that we have going into the driveway in the basement, we have what's called something similar to a French pipe system, a French drain system, which are pipes similar to these right here, but underneath the bottom, there are holes drilled with a sock around it. So water, when the water table rises up, it goes into the pipe, and then it goes into the drain system that we built, that we integrated into our build. Now something I just want to show you with the form tie system that this contractor is using is it uses a threaded rod here. Remember the threaded rod goes through the PVC on the inside 
And when this is all done, the nice thing about this system for the contractor, this is reusable. Since the PVC remains inside the concrete, when it's done, they just untie all of this right here, slide this off, and even the threaded rod will come out, and they can use that for their next project. So this is an investment. It's a big investment, all this hardware right here. It's a big investment, but it becomes the, the, the cost over the long run is much less because of its ability to be used over and over again. All right, I gotta get up the top of this hill so these guys can get back to work. I'm slowing down production here. Anyway, I see, I see the contractor for Caribbean Construction. He's inside the Baje Kubo, our old Baje Kubo right here. And I, I wanted to bring up one point that has to do, one point that has to do with uh, a similar system than the form tie system that's used in here. And I'll let him talk a little bit more about it. Uh, the pros and cons about using both. Anyway, uh, this is Romeo over here. And, Hello. And what I want to do, I want you to, I, I know that you're using the, the form tie system yeah. right here. Uh, but I know you've worked in other places before, like the British Virgin Islands. Yeah. Uh, and tell me, if, if you were in the British Virgin Islands, what is the system that they would use if they're doing a continuous form type of a, a um, pour like you're yeah. doing here? Actually, you are using there the um, the snap tie system, and you can and you can order that one in America. And the uh, snap tie system is very uh, very easy to install. But the the, uh, adva the disadvantage is that you can reuse only the um, the what they call it the uh, the shoes. That's the end. The yeah, the that's clip, yeah, the, the, clip. the clip. Yeah, the clip. The yeah. clip and the, uh, the and the, the other one is the strong back. So with the with the threaded with the threaded yeah, but the threaded with the rod threaded you rod, here, yes, you can you can yeah, reuse that here. Yeah, but you can't use it yes, including the, the washer and the and the wing nut. Yeah, we, you can reuse that one. And and I heard it's very expensive. The material is very expensive. Yeah, the snap tie uh, system. system is very expensive. Okay. okay. Anyway, everything's looking everything's looking really good back there. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother you anymore. Yeah. Right okay. Now. I'll let you get back. It's after lunch. I know production is getting ready to the, pick up really uh, yeah. fast. Yeah. Right so now. Uh, we're casting uh, early as next week. Ah. <laughs> so anyway, I want to thank Romeo for that yeah, little bit okay. of an explanation. And then what we'll do is when they do the pour inside there, we'll do, it'll be like big pour number two. There's going to be a lot of big pours here because they not only did they do the pour for the footing support, they'll be doing it next week for the wall itself. They have a cistern that they're going to be doing. There's going to be so many pours here. And I don't want to give everything away because there's a lot of features on this build 
that are unique to this specific build and the specific builder that you won't see in this area. So we'll continue with the series as we go. Thanks, Romeo. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to see once that former comes off because I know it's going to produce some really good results. Results meaning uh, everything should be nice and square, the same depths, uh, thicknesses of the wall, and it's going to be extremely strong using the pour that they did with the ready mix truck inside there. Uh, so that's going to be in one of the very soon to come upcoming episodes. We'll take a look at that, the formwork coming off. You'll get to see the results of using the, the tie form system that the contractor is using here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you found it exciting. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed. And if you ring that bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, from the bright and sunny Philippines, you have a wonderful day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>